a small business that was able to make critical breakthroughs in their product with help from HTML, is Industrial Ceramic Solutions. Industrial Ceramic Solutions, or ICS, produces ceramic fiber diesel exhaust filters with high efficiency in controlling emissions from diesel engines. The filters are created from rolls of filter paper made up of ceramic fibers, which is bound, pleated, and put in a frame similar to a typical car's air or oil filter. Early tests showed ICS's filter had key performance advantages over existing filters when it came to fuel economy, but needed work on its soot loading capacity and filter cartridge durability. Ceramic fibers are extremely small, too small to be seen by typical light microscopes. President Dick Nixdorf not only turned to HTML for help, he located the company in Oak Ridge, Tennessee to be closer to the labs. It's very important as a small business because we cannot afford the expensive electron microscopy and x-ray diffraction equipment that's available out there. So I've made extensive use of that and it allows me to compete directly with large foreign companies that have these access, uh, this equipment uh, readily available in their facilities. Uh, so it's, it's been a, a boon to us as a small business and it's the reason that uh, we're located in this area. Once ICS brought their filters to HTML, Dr. Larry Allard helped conduct tests using scanning electron microscopy. The tests revealed two previously unknown issues, issues that were key to helping ICS improve the performance of the filter. Once the electron microscope pinpointed the problem areas, ICS was one step closer to making their filter market ready. We've been able to make improvements to the product and, and go and use the electron microscope and the x-ray diffraction to say, yeah, these improvements seem to work and this is why. ICS turned to HTML again to improve an area where their filter already had a clear advantage, fuel economy. The ICS filter uses fibers which convert microwave energy to thermal energy with almost perfect efficiency, burning away soot and prolonging the filter's life and fuel efficiency. ICS needed special equipment to see the heating pattern of the microwaves. This time, ICS called Dr. Denwitty of HTML's Thermal Physical Properties User Center. ICS came to us because they were using microwaves to heat diesel particulate filters that they were making. And they wanted to understand how uniformly these part particulate filters were heating up during the microwave processing. So we used a high-speed infrared camera and we imaged the temperature of the filters during microwave heating. And we could clearly see that some areas were heating more effectively than others. And that helped ICS go back and re-engineer their process to improve uh, the heating of their filters. Using the information from the tests at HTML, ICS has been able to manufacture a product that can compete in a worldwide diesel particulate filter market. The mission of HTML is to help engineers, scientists, and students solve materials problems and advance material science and technology. By providing critical assistance to small businesses like ICS, HTML does so much more. Without the, the lab out there, I couldn't have seen any of these things, and we never would have gotten the development uh, off first base.